everyone, my name is Katie. I'm an art therapist and clinical counselor here at Able Arts Work. Today we're going to talk about tape photo transfers. These are a really cool and easy activity to do to add dimension and different elements to your artwork. We're going to be utilizing images that we find in magazines or that you print from your computer to transfer onto tape. What's really great about these is you can use them in a variety of ways with your artwork. You can put them on different pieces, you can collage them. Here's a great example of how you can collage it onto an art piece. And what's really great about them is that it's transparent so that you can see through it. This allows it, you to alter the image when you include it on any of your art pieces. A great example that you can find is at the bottom of this piece. You can see the lady and she appears to have a blue tint. This is because there is a blue background to this piece. So grab your materials and let's get started. To do our photo transfer project, we're going to need a few materials that you can hopefully find around your house. Uh, to start, you're going to need to find some images that are of interest to you. The best images that I find that work for this tape transfer is using photos from magazines. However, you can use photos that you print out on a computer. You just want to make sure that it is being printed out on an inkjet printer. Uh, the reason being is that that allows the ink to stay on top of the paper, which will do a better transfer. Now, when you're looking through your magazines to find your image, you want to make sure you're using images from within the magazine. You can use images from the cover, but you want to make sure that they're not images that have a really thick sheen or protective coat on it, those tend to not transfer onto tape very well. So I find the images that are within your magazine are going to be the best to use. Now you can use a variety of images and sizes. Um, it just depends on the size of the photo that you want to transfer on how many pieces of tape that you're going to use and I'll talk about that a little bit later. You're also going to need a pair of scissors. And then you're gonna need some tape. I find packing tape is the best to use for this. Uh, any size or width is fine. You're also gonna need a container of some sort. I'm using a Tupperware container. We're gonna fill this with water later on. And then you're also gonna need some type of object to do burnishing with. I like to use a folding bone. However, you can use a credit card, you can use a thick piece of um, cardboard, something that's stiff so that you can roll your tape and get all the air bubbles out. So go ahead and gather all your materials and let's get started. To get started on our tape transfer, we're going to need just a few materials and we're going to put some to the side like the bucket. Uh, you're going to want to have your photos out and ready to go. Again, you can use any size photo that you would like. Um, depending on the size is how many pieces of uh, tape you're going to use. So you're going to need your tape, your scissors, and then your object that you're going to use for varnishing, which is just getting the air bubbles out of the tape. Again, I'm going to use a folding bone. However, you can use an like, old credit card, library card. You can use a thick piece of plastic that you might have. You can even use a spoon. Uh, any object that's kind of hard. Now to start, we're going to pick one of our images. I'm going to go with the smaller one for today. Um, and I'm going to suggest that you don't cut the image out yet. The reason being is it's going to be easier to put the tape down. If you were to cut your image out that you want to do first, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because you're going to have less space to work with in the sense that you're not going to have room to hold your paper down while you're trying to place your tape. So I'm going to start with this top image here. And because of the size of this image, it's going to take a few pieces of tape which is totally fine. So we're gonna grab our tape. Again, I'm using packing tape. This tends to work really well. Uh, scotch tape is just not strong enough, so if you can get packing tape, this is gonna do the best. We're gonna peel off some of our tape, and I'm gonna kinda measure. Okay, so I need about that long, and then I'm going to cut my tape. Then we can put that aside. Now the best way to put your tape onto your image is you're gonna wanna hold both sides and you're gonna wanna kinda pull it kinda tight. The reason being is that's gonna help with air bubbles and it's also gonna help lay the tape really flat. So we're gonna go right to the edge and we're gonna lay it on and then we're gonna smooth it out. Now it's okay if you 
tape your image to your table. I actually like doing that because it keeps it in space when I go to do the next one. Um, but I'm gonna untape it for a second to hold it up so you can kind of see. Now it's kind of hard to tell, but my tape is going about halfway through my image. So it did not reach the whole thing. So I'm gonna need to use another piece of tape. Now when I add another piece of tape to this, I wanna overlap it onto my other piece of tape. If I lay it right next to it without overlapping, this piece is actually gonna come out in several different chunks, which we don't want. I'd like this piece in one. So we're gonna retake this down to the table just to keep it in place. I'm gonna grab another piece of tape. Again, I'm gonna kinda of hold it to measure because I don't wanna to do too much tape. I don't wanna waste my tape. So it does look like this piece is gonna take three, which is fine. Again, when you hold your tape, you're gonna hold it on the edge. You're gonna pull kind of tight. Now, you, remember, you wanna overlap your other piece of tape, probably a little less than half an inch down, and then you're going to rub it down with your hands. Now, this piece only went to about here, so I still have some piece of picture that uh, I would like to include, so I'm gonna add one more piece of tape to this. If you feel like that is enough for you, you could just leave it, um, but I would like the whole image. So I'm gonna measure my tape. I'm going to cut it. And then I'm gonna hold the edges kind of tight, overlap my tape to make sure that I'm not gonna lose any of my image, and I'm gonna press down. As you can see, I've taped my piece to my table. That's totally fine because I'm just going to pull it up when I'm done. Now you can see I have tape all the way around. And this is where we're going to start by cutting. So I'm going to cut out my picture. That way I have it all the way out and I'm not using as much. So I'm going to carefully cut around. Now, as you can see, my piece looks all shiny from my tape. Now, this is where we're going to come in with our kind of harder object. I'm using a folding bone. This next process is called varnishing. And what we're doing is we're trying to get the ink that is on this uh, picture from our magazine onto the tape. So by rubbing it with a credit card or something plastic and hard, it's gonna help that adhesive that's on the tape pick up the ink off. So we're just gonna rub. Again, you don't wanna do this too hard, um, but enough. And you're gonna notice how you can tell when it's doing right, is your image is gonna be a little bit brighter. So I've done it right here. It's gonna be a little bit brighter where you've done it. So now if you look at this, the image looks a lot brighter than what it did. Uh, and you can kind of see on the other side, you'll feel the tape. That's what you want to look for and to feel for. That's how you know you've done a good job with varnishing. Next, you're gonna need your bucket and you're gonna wanna fill this with warm water. Why don't you pause the video, go do that and come back. Welcome back. So what you should have in front of you is a container, a bowl or a Tupperware full of warm water. You don't want hot because we don't want to burn ourselves, but you want warm water, it works best. You're also gonna want your images. Um, you can do several at a time. Uh, these are all ones that we have put tape on and have varnished. So we are going to place these in our water and we're gonna submerge them all the way. Again, you can do multiple images at a time. And we're actually gonna let these soak for about five to 10 minutes. Um, and what that's gonna do is it's actually going to take the paper off of our image and leave our image onto our tape. So as you can see, I have them completely submerged in water. I'm gonna leave it for five to 10 minutes and then we'll come back. Welcome back. So it's been about five to six minutes. Um, that these have been soaking and they're ready to go. And how I can tell is when you look at the images and you kind of pull out of the water, you'll see that the image is very wet. 
Um, some will actually start to peel away, which is perfect. Because this is kind of a wet process, I did grab an old dish towel to help with this. Um, so you can lay it down. Now we're just gonna pick an image from our pile. I'm gonna grab one that I can tell is already peeling. So when you pull it out of the water, you're gonna turn it over so that the tape side is on one hand and the paper is facing up. Now you can tell that this is ready because the paper of the image is actually gonna start peeling away. So that paper that the image was on is completely gone. This can go in the trash and our image is left on our tape. So this one just peeled right off. There's nothing else I need to do with this besides dry it off. So that's where the towel comes in. I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna lightly pat it dry. You don't wanna rub it because you don't wanna accidentally take the ink picture off. So there's my first photo transfer. Now let's look at one that maybe did not come completely off. So this one, the paper is still on it. So all we're gonna do is lightly start rubbing and you're gonna notice that it's gonna start peeling away from our image. See how it's rolling off? So that's where doing this on a towel is gonna be really helpful. And I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna roll all of the paper off of our image. As you rub, you wanna make sure you're rubbing gently so that you don't accidentally rub that image right off. Also, if it notice that it gets kind of dry on the back where the paper is, you can always re-dip this in your water to help moisturize it. All right, looks like we're coming to the end of this and that it's completely transferred. So once it's like done, you want to give it one last dip. That way we get all that extra paper out. I'm going to find a clean part of my towel. And I'm going to dry it off. So I'm going to pat it dry. And there you have it. Again, these are great for various art projects. I like using them in my mixed media art, journaling. Um, what's really cool is you can have a day of just doing photo tape transfers and then they save really well and just put them in a baggie and save them for your next art project when you're feeling inspired. So I hope you enjoyed that process and I will see you next time.